All right, welcome to May Day. First day of May, May Day. Happy May Day. I wonder if we got a May basket in our front yard today. That's possible. So, give everyone an idea of the day Matt and I had. We thought we'd uh, say cheers to everybody. Cheers. Slancha. Oh, some bitch that felt good. Okay, who can burp the loudest? Sarah, what do you got? Nothing? <laughs> that was way too wet. Oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, welcome. Good stuff there. I said one time. You don't have to do Sorry. it four times. No, hey. Thanks. Got me too early. Woo! No, I can't do it. I, I'm not a belcher. Oh, I see I'm, how you I'm are. I'm more of a farter. <laughs> <laughs> Better out than in, they say. Right, Jake? What? <laughs> All right. Lots of stuff to talk about tonight as usual, but we got uh, Pizziola Jake here. We got a crap ton of stuff going on over at Beer Styles again, right? Two things. Yeah, so I think maybe the first thing we should talk about is the... Uh, Del Giorno, my friend. Yeah. Let's bring that, bring that some bitch over here. So bitch. I'll get out of. I'm gonna get over here, Sarah. I know. That sounds good. Oh, man. It's a soup of the day. Soup oh, of the day. <laughs> All right, this is our Di Giorno this week. We got a flatbread pizza this time, and uh, we are making it from a classic. Can you see? There. Oh, oh, whoops. It's yeah. it's a flatbread. There we go. Looks pretty damn good. It, it is. Awesome. It is awesome. I, I've destroyed a couple of them, uh, but uh, this is a classic turkey club. It's called the Slice Turkey. Uh, it's got a mayo, mozzarella, olives, bacon, uh, roasted turkey that I just got done doing the other day, seasoned tomatoes. Oh yeah, uh, um, money. Yeah, money. Yeah, it's awesome. And smoked gouda, of course, mm -hmm. and a little bit of uh, um, sesame seeds on top. Yep. To give it a little bit of a finish. So. How come the sesame seeds? To me, it sounds like a bun. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. That's you good. know, a sandwich bun. You're so smart. So smart. There's no, there's no seeds in those buns. Not anymore. Yeah, because I pick them off before I give them to the customers. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So that runs, it around. Oh yeah, that run starts yesterday. Started yesterday. And yeah, it's already successful. Yeah. And they're selling cool. a ton of them today. Cool. So we got get, that going get, on. As I like to say, get you some. Get some. Get you some. And, and then yeah. actually does say that. And a lot. then uh, yeah. yeah, I do say that a lot. <laughs> Uh, and then something else cool because we got yeah. uh, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Can't do Cinco de Mayo in the restaurant, but we can bring Cinco de Mayo to the car. Yes. and you can take it home, right? Yes. So what do you got going on now with the with all that stuff? Uh, I just need a little space here. That chocolate looks delicious. Well, you can't. I don't, I don't, don't want it. Doesn't, it doesn't. Do doesn't that, yes, so. it doesn't. It doesn't work well with me. All right. Uh, so we do have a Cinco de Mayo special happening. Uh, pretty excited about it. We got two different type of tacos or taco plate. You get three tacos for $10 with beans, black beans and Mexican rice and pico de gallo and uh, queso fresco on the side. Oh, yeah, and, and we got some else? guacamole, got a thing of chips for you, of course. Did you say how much the chips? Uh, yeah, $9.99. Yeah, I know. So here are your two options of tacos. This first one I have here is tingo de pollo. So this is a shredded chicken thigh with chipotle and it's got onion cilantro and uh queso fresco on top with a lime can on the side in, can you get, can in you there, get a Brian? picture there can you get in there you get three of those as well holy smokes or and this is taco el pastor so this is a pork el pastor with uh ancho adobo that we just got done making with pineapple with and it's got in there. it's yeah. four pastors right yes okay yes okay two, three really yeah. three yeah <laughs> Three there are not pastors you know? in that. <laughs> no, there's not. There's not yeah. And it's got the radish, uh, queso fresco, and uh, cilantro on top. So it's a heck of a deal for nine bucks or ten bucks yeah. for nine ninety nine. Holy yeah. smokes! So how do they get it? How do they get their hands on this stuff? All they gotta do is call. Uh, you can walk in, order it. Uh, it's all gonna be held hot on the line. Cool. So you come, give me a call. I'll make it up for you. Come and get it, or you can walk in, get yourself a crawler or oh. a margarita. Speaking That's another over awesome there. Too. So this is part of the deal. Look at this, oh, Mark. Geez. Holy balls. Yeah. Yes. What is this, spring break? <laughs> yeah. This is a whole Just quart. Just a straw in Margarita that right there. So yeah. 16 bucks. This is all pre-made. Yep. $16 yep. for 32 ounces of goodness. This yes. Is of break. Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. So come oh, and get it. Come and get it, people. Puppy? No, we can make a straw hole. No, no you no, cannot no. make a straw hole in that. That would be wrong. 
So, right. but holy moly. Just yeah, get a pocket. So, we got going on. so those are great. You would think that'd be enough. We got something else going on too. What else we got? Oh, uh, we got Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming Yes, up. we got a Mother's all Day. All you mothers years. out there. Yes. You know don't let you your are. mom cook. Mothers. All right. <laughs> don't let your mom cook. I know what you're doing. I'm just moving this over here. I already <laughs> dibbed on this. Okay, you can all take right, it. I already oh, dibbed it. Man, you guys can have the tacos and food, but bitch. I dibbed it. Okay, you I'm can in the have that. All right, you can have that. So, yeah. Talk about Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Tell me about it. We have a take and bake. You can take it home, finish it off. Uh, we got a pork loin, and we got roasted vegetables with uh, potatoes coming on the side with that. A nice salad and your choice of pie. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. It's got a nice lemon dill sauce that's going to come. So you, everyone knows it's all about the sauce, though. So it's all about the sauce. Banana sauce. cream or apple? Banana think. cream or apple. Sauce. Yep. How much? Sour sauce. How much? Um, I believe it's $49. $49.99. Yes. Yeah, so, yep, $49.99. All you can eat. No, wait, that's not. No. Right. Yeah, you can't keep coming back, yeah, folks. Can't, we can, but it costs you forty nine yep. every time. That serves four. I think it it's serves a, four. Yep. Two, uh, two pound pork loin, like we did it with is. the uh, ham. With the ham. Yep. yep. So yep. It's possible. It is possible. So Banana cream. It's possible. Get online and order that's, that. That was all uh, me. Get on our Facebook, order it. Yep. Uh, if you get our email, we sent that out to you, mm-hmm. um, and it's on on Facebook as well. So, yes, and any questions, give us a call. Four five three. Two three three seven. That number again. Four five three two three three seven. This Please swipe offer right won't last long. Yes. Yes. yes, swipe right. Yes. Like oh. So come and get the food, man. It's awesome. It's been a lot of fun making it too. I haven't cut my teeth on Mexican food since Zapatista days back in Chicago. So come and get it. It's going to be amazing. Awesome. You know, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. In, my, in my my pie hole here. Yeah. Very shortly. <laughs> he says that a lot too. Yeah, yes. he says it in his sleep. I say that word a lot too. Every, every time he, co- yeah, every time he sneezes. Yeah. So you can't leave any of the mark behind. Uh, jeez, man, you really kind of want to taste it. Go ahead. So just, here, let's do just this. Just dip your glass in. Well, this is a this here is a Pabst that's, that's a good I don't idea. know if you'll like it. Huh? It's a Pabst Mark. It's Pabst maybe Pabst Blue Ribbon. Really? Yeah. No. No. PB Mark. Did it work? Go ahead. No, you guys keep talking. I'm giving you a hard time. Seriously, I was just giving you a hard time. You want any of it? Well, just a little bit. Yeah, taste, it's a little taste. Yes, it's got to have the taste. taste it's a beautiful day for it. Yes, it is. Oh, stuck run. inside all day. Run, Brian, run. Well, See, look, look at that. He's going to get me something to drink. Here he comes. He's a good man. Yeah. I need me one of those. You have to pour like, over here. One that will go get me drinks. I'll trust myself. Or, ah, uh, anyway. Uh, no. <laughs> we won't go there. There you go. Dollars. Whoa, Ooh, that was more than I was expecting. Yes. All right. All right, buddy. All right. Good Come and get the you. food. Come and get Thanks the food. Thanks for having me. I'm next door, as always. Ooh. As always. Yep. All right. Thanks, Mark. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, buddy. Enjoy. Rock on. Come and get Cheers, your Jake. Who Cheers. was that? Who was that guy? What's that? I don't what? know. He <laughs> just came in off the street. Yeah, he does. All right. Jeez, so sir. we'll move that food. Now let's get into some other Goes stuff. Into my car. Yeah, go ahead and put that in your car. All right. Time for some beers. Get some beers going here. Here. All right. What are we going to pour first? What? Is that the mystery beer? No. A few of those came in without labels. So. Ah. This is the Stillwater Log Out Double IPA. And that just came in, right? Yes. All right. Woo-hoo. What's everybody drinking out there? Ooh. Come on now. Let's be interactive like we always are. There you go. Oops, sorry, you already have some. So what do we know about this beer? That's interesting. It's made with hops yeah. and, and water. There's, is there maybe some barley in there? I don't know. I look, of, I look really um, uh, springy. Yes, you're very festive. May 1st-ish. Yeah, I tried to do that too today. So Brian will get a kick out of this. I had put on a, a lime green shirt first today, and then I thought we were going to have the... Uh, you know, the green screen behind us. So I took it off. So Aww. kind of wish I would have worn it today because yeah. it brings out the green in my eyes. That's a good color on you though. Well, thank I you, like Sarah. It. That's very nice of you. The delay on your computer is like I'm looking back in time. I know, I know right? You can see all of my failures <laughs> it's <once> about, more. <laughs> It's about a 10 second delay, isn't it? Is that normal? How do I refresh? You're, you're assuming I know what the hell I'm Jackson doing. Jackson Brown song. Do not remind me of my failures. I have not forgotten. Right, I'm going to try to refresh. <laughs> oh, my. So glad it's Friday. Oh, my goodness gracious. I have no idea what day it is. It was a crazy day. It was a 
crazy day. Uh, crazy good. Hey, Connor, are you watching with your buddies? What's going on? My son's on. Hey, crazy Connor. he was on. Connor graduate, graduate McCate's college next Friday. He's going to be official. Yeah, he's going to be official. He's going to be one of those official people. What's up, Dave Hinkle? Yo, Hinkle. Mr. Hinkle. All right, so got some cool stuff tonight. We got a little, um, we got a little goat cheese, or excuse me, sheep and goat cheese that uh, is in olive oil. We have about three or four of these left, I think. Thought we'd give this a whirl tonight. I'm going to let you spill that all over yourself first. I see how you are. We got some little Roquefort cheese, which is a French blue cheese. Thought that'd be fun. We got our Potter's crackers, and then we have some chocolates we're going to dip into tonight, too. So, um, you want me to uh, just divvy this out? I think you just put it on put it on your plate. I mean, there's okay. enough for everyone to just grab one. Well, or I could just do that. There you that. go. You do that. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. So. Well, that smells amazing. Mm, okay. So, again, guys, while okay. we can't, uh, can't eat this together, you can come in and grab one and take one home. I think there's four of these left. How is it? It's okay? For now. For now. <laughs> All right, for you. So while we're while we're pouring stuff out, let's talk a little bit about some of the things we got going on here. Okay. Um, got a virtual pickup party next Friday. So we'll be pouring some wines, obviously our beers. Uh, I'm sure we'll have some other cool stuff open. Uh, wines this month are from uh, Italy, one of my favorite regions in the whole wide world. We've got a Barbera, a Dolcetto, and an Arnis wonderful springtime wine um, see up on the screen we're trying to grow our YouTube channel as well so make sure you go out and subscribe to our YouTube channel as soon as we get uh, uh, to 100 subscribers we get a free pony which is kind of cool I don't know where we're gonna keep it but I'm super looking forward to well that. but it comes in installments yes so that just sends, <laughs> you get the hind, yeah, you don't one get the hind quarter thing. at a time you don't get the whole thing at one time yeah, you, get, right? you get one leg yeah. Yeah, you get one leg at a time. That, that's why you want to really try and get there within a week. Yeah. Make sure yeah, it's yes. still. Yeah. So, we got this guy here, the, mm. the chocolate, and we got to make sure we get some crackers around. Grab a couple crackers out of there, Sarah. Okay. Are we still live, Brian? How about still it? going? We haven't lost anyone yet. There you go. Well, that's all relative. Yeah. Some people were Sometimes lost. Don't, people Some don't people get were our lost humor. before they even got here. Yep. <laughs> people were pretty hammered before we even got here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once again, with the number of people coming in to get booze today. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Was that a crazy day? Yeah, you would have thought that there was no more alcohol left in the state or that the governor had outlawed alcohol as of you know, like Monday morning. Yeah. You would have thought we were selling toilet paper today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Or it was insane. Yeah. Yeah, it was nuts. All right, what's everyone drinking out there? Come on now, help me out. All right, and I do have a question for the group. So, in theory, we are supposed to be able to reopen 50% with a bunch of safety measures in place. What's everyone think about opening up on the 15th? Is it too soon? I think it's great that I can at 50 percent that means i can half ass it yeah all you, day well all so, you have to do is show up 50 yeah. percent right i mean nor yeah. normally i quarter ass my job but you know i will give you twice as much ass twice I, as I will, little i'll give I you twice as much as my normal 50 percent yes right no <laughs> <laughs> why not okay we got a little roaf of cheese yep i just got this oh, up oh, today oh. this is perfect right now Really smelly too. The original right. blue cheese. Good stink. Yep. And it's gritty and deliciousness. What's up? Which always goes well if you're drinking a sweet wine or anything like that. You know, or a sweeter beer. You got an imperial stout. That should be pretty good with a blue cheese. That's so then other in that other that words with our like. our IPA here, this that would not necessarily be the best. Yeah, give it a go. Yeah. I mean, Drink what you like with, with what you like. If it tastes bad, then you'll learn. Then don't do it again. Yeah. So, we'll figure that one out. Little shout out to our friends at Barntown. 
down the way. I've got a bottle of a uh, band of band of heathens. <laughs> I believe there's a crap ton of heath bars in here, correct? Nice. Is that right, Brian? A bunch of heath bars. Have you not had this? So I had a bunch of these. So I thought it'd be fun to. I don't think we can. You can't buy these, by the way. But we can drink them in front of you, though, which is really what's so important. Why can't we'll they? Them. We'll say they're already they're sold. Uh, they're they're gone. It's a once and done. So it's just like a. Did Keith get like, that for you? He did. Tastes like liquid oh. Heath bars. Wow, look it's, at the consistency on yeah, that, it's baby. it's super thick. Woo! So there you go, my friend. Oh, and it even smells like a yeah. Heath bar. Yep. Oh, my. And another little thing, little since, little I don't know how it is, I don't wait. Ooh, and I don't know, oh, little uh, basalmic caramelized onions here that we've got for sale in the store, too. We thought that might go well with the Roquefort cheese and the, oh, I'm not probably going to be able to get this open because my hand. Here, I'll let, the, I'll, let, I'll let you do it. Just got to show off. There we go. We got it. That was fun. Okay. Yes. Barb, you will definitely get your bar stool. Problem is, you won't be able to sit at the bar right away. We'll just put it out in the parking lot for you. <laughs> or out, yeah. That would actually be kind of fun if we could have everyone like block off the parking lot out here behind us. And everyone just comes with a lawn chair, you know, maybe their bike and a cooler, and you are designated one parking spot. That should be enough social distancing. I think so, that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. So if we rope, if we that. rope that off, can we do that? Well, I don't. I mean, I it'd feel be a like question for my brother. Yeah. If we rope that off, Jeff. Can we? Uh, can we have a parking lot party? I already know the answer, but yeah. I thought I'd answer. Ask him anyway. I mean, I'd say they can't arrest Ooh. us all, but I bet they can. <laughs> All right, so we we had a little private party, virtual private party, a couple nights ago where we featured a bunch of Long Meadow Ranch. We thought we'd keep that theme going. We have a little Long Meadow Ranch Pinot Noir Rosé. Oh, and that was so much fun. So if anybody's looking to get a bunch yeah. of friends together and do maybe a private uh, Zoom tasting, something like that, you know, we're happy to facilitate that. Uh, shout out to Mary for uh, coming to us with the idea. We appreciate that. So here's what we did. Mary gave me a budget. We came up with two whites, two reds. The couples came and bought the wine. I poured samples for them. And then I put together a nice little cheese board for everybody. And then uh, we got on, we had the winemakers on. We had Mark Neal from Neal Vineyards on. And we did a little private Zoom tasting. It was a blast. Interactive. Um, everyone got to party together at home, which was fun. And then um, they didn't have to open up their bottles necessarily. Because let's face it, four bottles even, you know, even we're, when we're, we're quarantined, four bottles is a lot of bottles to drink. So everyone got a, a nice two-ounce sample to try. And then if they wanted to break into the bottles, which I think some of them did, yeah. uh, they could. But. Or if we just wanted to do a progressive where we see how long people can stay on the Zoom as they work through the bottles. Yeah. The last person standing gets the bottles. Um, yeah. Yeah. So let's see, what else we got going on here? This little guy is funky. So this is a uh, Fossa chocolate, and they're from uh, Singapore. And that is an actually called a salted egg cereal, uh, white chocolate. That's and outside of Iowa City, right? It's, it's right outside, it's between Iowa Singapore. City and, uh, and North Liberty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. small little town. It's a big tower. Singapore, Iowa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so pretty, <laughs> it's not. Hey, yeah. there is a Jamaica, Iowa. Yeah, it's a there bad is. geocaching yeah. if you're out looking for Singapore. Actually, yeah. I don't know. Maybe there is a Singapore, Iowa. There's also an intercourse, Pennsylvania, just so you know. Of course you know and that. And Blue Ball, Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. So I used to live right in that area. Well, there's also a KY Lake. Wow. Okay. Uh, Kentucky Lake. Wow. Every time we would pass that, I would giggle. We went, we Me and went, my 12 we went there pretty quickly, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Hey, you started it. I know. I'm just happy to be here. Hope I can help the ball club. <laughs> so. Hope I can help the ball club. <laughs> so, this little caramelized onion guy is pretty tasty. So, that I don't know if Brian can get a little shot on that, but that's the uh, the one in the front there is the uh, white chocolate, and it actually has uh, cereal, a uh, uh, milk cereal in it, which is kind of cool. Salted, and you know what else it has in it? Cereal. I'm going, yeah. Well, I don't know what it's called. It's called what's? Let me let me go read it. Uh, salted egg cereal. I was going to say I'm like, sorry. wait, milk I'm cereal. Sorry, my bad. No. You're thinking of putting. 
yeah. milk and on then cereal. It's got, it's got uh, duck yolk in it, yeah. too, which is kind of fun. Well, right? the ducks ate the cereal. Yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going I'm I'm to give you a piece of that. All right. And then now, uh, the chocolate, the dark, the Dick Taylor chocolate. You already had some. Do you want any more? And then yeah. we've got a, a little. Uh, this is origin specific, right? This, this. Uh, Belize. You believe it is? I believe. I believe it so. is. <laughs> so Mexico. Welcome to the Dad Joke uh, Channel. Uh, South. Or dad Channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I can fly. I believe fly. I can fly. Mm. Yep. Little rosé. It's like. 50 cent beer and You know what? Down. You know what we did? They're screwed up. Went right Obviously. to the rosé. Yeah, you did. Why didn't That's, you stop me? Well, because you'd already poured it. I didn't what? want you to feel bad. Well, you, the, the you, first time for that. Yeah. Well, I know. I'm through, trying thought, something new. I was wondering new. why you went to the rosé. I thought like maybe everyone else stopped me. Quarantine. I completely I'm forgot we even had. You're supposed, you're supposed to know more about wine than I do. Well, it has nothing to know, do about knowing about wine. It's about knowing what you're going to pour. And I went right for the rose wine. I haven't drank it yet. Well, All right. well, oh well. I guess, well. We're, gonna I guess we're gonna drink it now. All right, Matt's ready. All right, Matt, tell us about this guy because well, this is uh, this is not rosé. No, very not. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's my first day. Don't mind me. Don't ask me. I just work here. Chocolate kids. So let's so, put this right up here in the middle. Oh man, <laughs> this is from. Gusborn in southeastern England, I believe Kent. Uh, this is 100% Chardonnay. Southeastern England is making incredible bubbles right now. We are fortunate enough to go to this winery, uh, took a little tour. Uh, I don't know if I got our tech team the picture soon enough to show you the vineyard, uh, but the vineyard itself is called Boot Hill Vineyard, and right outside the, uh, uh, the tasting room of the winery. So we went there, we drank, we drank some more, we walked around, came back, drank again. I was gonna say, and drank some uh, more. The amazing thing about the wines that we have from Gus Border right now, we got, oh yeah, there is Boot Hill. Ah. Boot Hill Vineyard. So Gus Born, they, uh, they've provided wines for the closing ceremonies at uh, the London Olympics. Uh, Gus Born has been drank at the Royal Wedding. Uh, the wines that we just got in, uh, most of them have never really been in the country before. The still Chardonnay, they make almost none of it. And I happened to get an email from the winery that they had a few things available. So I talked with our rep, Kat, you know, if Kat's watching, hi Kat. Hey, and, uh, hi Kat. And asked her, you know, what do you, what do you guys have? What do you have available? And there are a couple bubbles that they make uh, very, very limited production of. They sit in the bottle, they age for 90 months or so. Oh, wow. 10 six packs came into the country. We got two each uh, of the two vintages, 2009 and 2010. And it is straight up one of the best bubbles that I've ever had in my entire life. And then we also got the Chardonnay, which as far as I know, has never really been distributed outside of the UK. Uh, this is the Guinevere uh, Chardonnay from 2017. Only about 36 packs came into the country with this. Uh, we've already sold several of all of these wines. If you are interested, be sure and let us know because some of this is going home with me. Uh, it's going and me. into my basement um, yeah, and my belly. Some of that. Uh, these are just amazing wines that you don't think uh, the UK is producing no. uh, world-class wine, which is good yeah. because you know, straight up, these wines, if they said Chablis or especially the bubbles, if they had said champagne, you'd probably be looking at paying, you know, five times as much right. for them. They're that good. That Gus Bourne is fantastic. Their bubbles are unbelievable. You wouldn't, you don't think of it when you think of, of England as, as far as bubbles. I mean, obviously you think of France, but their, their bubbles are fantastic. Same chalky soils. Boy well, jumped out to talk about the, the champagne, the bubbles. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Natalie. Already bought a bottle or two of them. So, hi, Natalie. So, um, the other thing I want to talk about is the uh, blind tasting uh, education class we got coming up. Mark your calendars for May 13th. 
which is the day after May 12th. Fun fact. And a Wednesday. And a Wednesday. What? What? Yeah, right? Are you skipping the day? I don't know what okay. I'm doing. Well, I rarely hey, do. in but quarantine, rarely. it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't really matter. They all just, just run together. Yep, they all run together. Hopefully, we'll be getting towards the end of this. But um, May 13th at uh, 6.30, we're going to be coming to you with six wines, three whites, three reds. We're kind of up in our game here. We just ordered... We just ordered 1,200 of these guys. Well, so you're going to be bottles. going home with one of these little guys right here. Or actually six of these little guys. Just and, take your medicine, And guess folks. what? You're not going to know what's in the glass. In the, yeah. in the, in the, in the bottle. It will be wine. It'll be... Likely. More than likely, it will be yeah. wine. Yeah. And, in theory. Yeah. But we're going to... Uh, we're going to taste together, like, and then we're going to kind of talk about the wine. You'll maybe have some some nuances of the wine, maybe some okay. some tasting notes about the wine. Uh, but certainly we're not going to tell you what it is, and that'll be half the fun. So um, we sold out uh, of the, the old world, new world pretty quickly. So we want to get this out to everybody, make sure I think um, I think it's on I think it's on Eventbrite. And what did I see here? Eventbrite uh, live details on the Facebook page or on Eventbrite. So sign up sooner than later because there will be a point where we will have to, I think we did 65, we did 65 of the other and I think we'll, we'll probably yeah. cap this one at 100. So yeah, that's a lot of things. To sign up early, sign up often. Yes. Blind tasting is actually where I figured out that I actually do kind of like Chardonnay. Yeah. Now, obviously it depends on the Chardonnay, but um, before that, I was absolutely, I do not like Chardonnay, but doing a blind tasting is where I figured that out. So uh, blind tastings can be a lot of fun. It takes out some of the uh, predispositions you might have for certain types of wine, um, gives you an opportunity to just really sit and enjoy, not think about it as much as far as what the, ac the wine actually is um, before you get a chance to taste it. So it's all about the taste of the wine itself. Well, it's fun because, like you said, you don't know if you like or dislike a Chardonnay and right. tasting it blind, you know. <clears throat> it's also where I figured out that I liked uh, Chardonnay a little warmer than what we typically drink Chardonnay. Um, we typically drink Chardonnay, you know, right out of the fridge, and it's usually a little colder. For me, I find that um, that makes it uh, where really all I taste is alcohol. If I let Chardonnay warm up a little bit, especially those that are more oaked, um, I find that, you know, it's, it's more palatable to me. So everybody's different, of course, but um, that's David one of those things that you, eating. after you play around with it a little bit, you learn. Yeah. You know, the other thing you learned, Luke, was kind of cool that when you first started working here was drinking out of a proper uh, glass as opposed to a plastic glass. Hey, now. Right? No, I right? used to, well, no, I used to drink right out of the bottles. Yeah. Well, well, so well, it doesn't matter. Who but, doesn't? you know. No judgment. That's on the trampoline. I hope that's an actual trampoline. An actual trampoline, and not, not a, a person, no. Yeah, <laughs> no, definitely not. Did you guys get any of this? Get you some of that. That's get stuff. you some. A little bit get about Long Meadow Ranch here, this rosé, since we're going to do it in order now. Um, <laughs> well, sorry. you know. There you go. I was wondering if you were going to so, judge me. Long Meadow Ranch, uh, they are true farm to table as well. They also have uh, restaurants. Uh, they have got the oldest olive grove, I believe, in Napa Valley. Uh, they make just lovely, lovely wines. Uh, not too over-the-top extracted. Sometimes with wines, they can taste good, but you wouldn't want more than two or three glasses because you can almost taste the manipulation and the sugar in them. Uh, these guys are they're, they're just light, well-crafted, well-balanced. Uh, great examples of what those great varietals can do. And we have... Boy, we carry several different cabs, or a couple different cabs. We carry some uh, Chardonnay, some Sauvignon Blanc, some Rosé, some Pinot. Uh, yeah, we're believers in them. They make a really good cab. Um, their Chardonnay was great. The Pinot was great, as you said. Mm -hmm. The uh, Farmstead wines are good. Yep. And we thought about pulling a cab tonight, right? Yeah, the Hunt and Harvest. Mm -hmm. Which is right back somewhere up there. There it is. Cool. All so, right. Go ahead. No, I was going to say a little interaction here. Anybody that's online, just 
Come up with the dumbest question you can ask right now. <laughs> Just ready. I, I bet you Hink will ask the first question. Careful. I bet you Hink will ask the first question. Jared, one last time, if chickens yeah. had lips, could they whistle? They whistle. So, yeah. Philosophical question. Yeah. Uh, that's Hinkle, let's really keep it G rated, night. shall we? Yeah. But that's or not. a really like, late night, you're rules. either yeah. way drunk or something else kind of question. If chickens have lips, could they whistle? Come on, Jared. How, how, how? Whoa, light up like a pinball started? machine here. So. What's that? I just saw some things moving through. Nothing? I think I'm delayed a little bit on mine. I don't know if it's a, but that's okay. You yeah. got a question? Oh, yeah. We have a question. Oh. Excuse me, I have a question. Question, question is, does Matt have pants on? What? Yes, but they're not mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Actually, we changed pants right before the show. So Matt yeah. has mine. So. Matt's I was just going to say something. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Matt looks like he's waiting for a flood. That's about right. Matt's is. Yes. <laughs> Matt is waiting for a flood. No, that's good. That's Brian good. is stepping on his uh, pant legs. No, so that's, Dave right. that's right, too. Dave Hinkle <laughs> wants to know how many canoes it takes to shingle a house. Canoes? Ooh, <laughs> depends on the size of the canoe, right? Well, and the house, too. Right. Yep. Uh, and my goodness, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of freaking canoes. It has a lot to do with the weather, I think, right? Yeah. Work with me here. Okay. And are they? I mean, are they Iroquois canoes? Top, are, are they, they top side up? Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, what kind of what kind of canoe? Down? Again. Yeah. What kind of house? I mean, is it a birdhouse? <laughs> what size shoe do I wear? <laughs> what? Well, it depends on the day. Yeah. <laughs> it got gout. It depends on the swelling, Dave. It yeah. normally does. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Many right. Gums do. Yep. 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 <laughs> swelling is always a factor. <laughs> Oh, my dear Lord. I almost went there, but I... Yeah, well, you got to go there, man. You got to. Cool. Oh, my. Favorite destination for wineries? Oh, that's cool. Which one? Domestic right or foreign? Like... I think we, we probably... Either. Honestly, I think we should... We should. Domestic and then foreign. I don't so, have, well, so don't domestic have for me, well, that's a tough one because uh, I love Jacuzzi because they've, they've been great partners. Um, love, love Neil, Neil Vineyards up in Howell Mountain. Um, and then uh, obviously you got to say Mandavi, right? Because you just have to. I'm joking. Who's that? I'm joking, what? of course. I, don't I was going to say why. It's like a circus ride. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I do think that if you ever. If it's your first time out to Napa Valley or Sonoma, take one of the big Disney World tours of one of the large wineries, the yeah. big wine Agreed. cellars. It is completely worth it. Yeah. I mean, just to see the process. And then go out to the but small wineries. But the small wineries. guys are cool too, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah, if you got to step over children's toys and <laughs> pet a dog before yeah. you get to the tasting exactly. room, you know you made that's it. where some of the best I don't know that is. I went that small, but I did. When, when I went to Napa with my brother, we did exactly that. We went big commercial, we went to Sterling, and then we went to a small family winery, um, Madrigal. Uh, honestly, Madrigal. love Madrigal. Yep. Uh, their wines are phenomenal. Um, I've been trying my darndest to get them to do some sort of a partnership and yeah. do like Jeff, a- Tom. Yes, let's well, do this. Well, they reply back to my, my two instant messages I sent to them. Yes. Uh, and they did not. They did not, I mean. okay. Or, or when I leave a message, um, on their voicemail, if they'd call me back, that'd be cool too. Or yes. fogged up on their bathroom mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> call me. Anyway, no, so um, <laughs> going to going to a big winery like Sterling, cool. You know, you have the uh, the gondola that goes up the hill and all that stuff, and the big you know the big huge winery experience. But then also having the small winery, uh, chilling out on the crush pad, drinking wine. Um, tasting, learning the, the family history. Those are those are fun things too. So I, I agree with Matt in that. Um, again, one time in Napa, uh, plan to go back, but definitely do both. Do if, Sonoma if, if too. Make yes. sure you do Sonoma because Sonoma's, Sonoma's a little next. quieter, a yes. little less crowded, a little more boutiquey. So let's let's kind of keep going on this 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 question. If that was domestic. What about um, Europe? Not men. So I have no, I have so, no input. Matt, not that I won't get there. Where's Europe? 
Europe is west of here. Okay. If you go far enough. If you do. I mean, you've yeah. got to fly over a lot of stuff to get there. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, um, that's a tough one. It, it is. Uh, or, well, or, I mean, or, I've got or a, non, non-domestic, maybe. Maybe we'll say non-domestic. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've got a huge affinity for Spain and Spanish wines. Um, you know, one of the ones that I thought was just sneaky fun was Austria. Um, outside of Vienna, um, all sounds out to um, uh, the Vakaw Valley. I uh, went on a little bicycle tour there. Uh, if I'd known this was coming up, I'd show you some pictures of it. Uh, but yeah, we basically rode a bicycle, drank a bunch of wine, and somehow made it back to Vienna without breaking my leg uh, or my arm. Or Did you fall off the bike? No, but I was riding no handed for a while. Just relaxing oh, I was like doo, 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 doo. and then someone cut me off and I totally got into it and just flipped into, into a bush but that would have been awesome so, but, but yeah the white wine's there bright light um, acidic um, you know anybody that's a Pinot Grigio fan uh, this is kind of like Pinot Grigio but with a little flavor was, at least for me Pinot Grigio is from no, Italy's a lot of time it's not bad. It's just kind of an alcohol delivery vehicle. Yes. Um, but yeah, these some yeah, of these great. wines are, are delicious. So Rick Moore wants <clears throat> wants to know what do you think of the Green Bay Packers draft this year and the chances of return to the Super Bowl. I guess since I'm a Bears fan, Rick, I would say I don't care. Yeah. Is that wrong? Is that wrong of me? Uh, yeah. Well, I, not that I don't love. Bears. I think they got great value at their pick. Uh, I don't think I, grabbing. I a receiver or a, you know, running back or anybody there is going to vault them into the into the Super Bowl necessarily. I think it's just going to take a good draw and possibly an actual football season for them to have a chance at it. I do like the Oregon Ducks, though. He asked a question. Rick also asked a question about the Oregon Ducks. I do like the Oregon Ducks. Mm-hmm. I just love their uniforms. Yeah. But when you have a trillion dollars behind you with with Nike, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna have that. I uh, I can watch um, hockey before I can do. Football. Really? Yeah. We can no longer be friends. But once yeah. again, I believe last time you were here, this was your last time here. So this is like strike two. Yeah, well. <clears throat> so oh, is it strike man. three or is it strike I don't 20 know. or what is it? I, you know what? There's, Whether you like it or not, you're stuck with me. Dude. So there's a question out there that if <laughs> olive oil is made out of olives. Andrew says that to him. If <laughs> olive oil is made out of olives, <laughs> what is baby oil made out of? Oh, please not babies. Yep. Yeah. I believe it is. Could be. Yeah. Ground up little babies. Yeah. Ground up little babies. <laughs> yeah. 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 BBs. Yeah. 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 And also there's a question out yeah, there. It's from, can, it's from the Sanskrit, BB. Can which, blind people see in their dreams? Well, of course they can. Really? I, yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. It's not like what you well, and I can see. I can, test, I, I can fly in well, my well, dreams. Well, the question is, hold on rings, for a second. So. But, well, I think that, that merits some more discussion here. Yeah. Were they, were they, did they become blind? I think that depends on the person. Or Absolutely. were they born blind? Yeah. True that. I don't think it matters. Because you know what? Think you don't think it matters? Way. Anybody who is, who is blind at birth, how many weird, they can make up whatever they want in their How head. many weird things have I dreamed about that I've never seen or anything like that? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think being blind has any limitation on your dreams. No. So, huh. You see that? That's interesting. The more yeah. you know. The more you can know. Dun, dun, dun. Um, yeah. yeah, the PSA. Yeah. From Wine Styles. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. I, that was that was deeper than I really think we probably have ever gone. And oh. it scared me a little bit. And that is, if that's deep, as deep as we go, we have some problems. Well, uh, yeah. So, um, what are we, what are we, what's the red we're drinking? Yeah, this is beautiful. Well, I don't know. You don't, we just, we it's, just it, it's a it. Pinot so from the Russian us. River Valley. Those of you who are premium club, club members, the uh, every other month. This is one of the wines that you will get. Uh, Tuck Beckstoffer uh, family produces this wine in conjunction with someone who I don't remember at this moment. Uh, it's Semper, and they call it Homage. It is a Pinot Noir from Russian River Valley, and at 14.5%, I can kind of smell the alcohol a little bit, but uh, I can't really taste it. It doesn't yeah. override yeah. The, the wine itself. No, it's this one's beautiful. They cut us a great deal. So yep. if you want two great wines this month at a really good price, join our premium club. Uh, $90 every two months. Uh, but for 90 bucks, you get a, wine, a red blend and a Pinot Noir that combined, I think, are $155 retail value. 
This is a beautiful wine. Yeah, they did. They did us a solid. Kyle wants to know uh, a recommendation for lamb chops on the grill this weekend. Oh, jeez. I mean, the lamb chops know, themselves the or the, the wine? I'm thinking white Zinfandel. Yeah. Wait. Well, it's, what? It could be. I mean, only if you dip your pork chop in, in the, the white Zinfandel. Zinfandel. Yeah, you might, you might need to marinate and it. The, and then glass. grill it. Yeah. You know, then yeah. it's candied. Yeah. Uh, I think that'll work. No, but definitely Pinot Noir. No, yeah. Noir. This, chop, even, yeah. Even a burgundy would this be would be, good. This would this be great with a smoked lamb chop. Yeah. Actually, like a Rioja or a Menthea, something like that. Yeah. Or Sicilian wine. If you can find a uh, uh, in, uh, Edna, uh, Edna Rosso. Yeah. That'd be great. Do we have any Edna Rosso right We now? do. We have two different ones. Cool. Of course we do. Yeah, because I have weird and, wines. Yeah, don't talk about it until you until we have it. Yeah. All right. What else, we wanna, Frost is watching the what else do we want to watch? Frost is watching. What else do we want to watch? these crazy people. Welcome back, Tony. What was that old uh, uh, episode from? Oh, was it Gaty Game or where uh, you know they say the uh, uh, the questions and you'd see if the couple would answer the same, the same way. way. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this is what Gaty she Gaty? thinks yeah. he's gonna say. Yeah. This is yeah. what he thinks she's gonna say. Really yeah. Yeah. I have some really inappropriate. Uh, well, yeah. Did, did anyone ever see the uh, the clip? The the one that was like, "Where's the." Uh, Strange place, place you've, you've ever made had, whoopee. Made whoopee. Yeah. 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 Oh, and we they don't match up. There, yeah, we won't yeah, go there. Those of you who have ever watched it, let's not, let's not go just there. Google that because it's hilarious. <laughs> Andrea, I think you know what we're talking about. In fairness, it was <laughs> yeah. not in the back of a Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it kind of was. In an uncomfortable place. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's for a different generation. The mall rats lovers of you out there. Oh, yeah. mall rats. Yeah. Which they're doing a sequel. I Kevin, know. During, Finally, how many years later? During the quarantine, Kevin Smith wrote uh, the newlywed the game. Newlywed no. game, that's what it was. So. Or soon to be unwed game. So. Right. So, besides Dave Hinkle, has anyone had this uh, band of heathens, wherever that is? So I went out to the, to the crowd. That that's is okay. some no, yummy we're good beer. There. It's totally right up my alley. I mean, it's it's a big boy. And again, from our friends at uh, Barn Town. Barn Town. Barn Town. Still just a little bit of so, how did we get a hold of that? Just out of curiosity. Keegan brought it to me. <laughs> you had the end. I know people. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew just said internal eye roll. <laughs> to, my comment of, to, my comment, to my comment about the newlywed game, <laughs> which would mark her. First internal eye roll at you. Yeah, it's today. Like they're very Maybe today. obvious. Maybe yeah. today, uh, right? It's only yeah. internal because she's not physically here. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only right. That's the only reason it's internal. All right. So Barb said she's been drinking with a band of heathens, but never had the the wine. Actually, it's beer, Barb. It's and you beer, know how much, but you know what? That's you know how much you love beer. Well. Hoorah. Um, hoorah. But yes, yes, you have been drinking with a band of heathens. Agreed. Yes. I'm not part of that those group. those Marines, but you know what? I I wouldn't trust any anybody more than I would a Marine. Oh, I'm so glad you went there. I thought you were going somewhere else. Nope, nope, I nope, wouldn't nope, trust nope. anybody. Well, maybe not with no. my sister, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's that's actually a comment my brother said. Yeah. Um, my brother, my brother's a, a, a Marine, so. <laughs> or or my brother either. I've had enough female Marines. Don't forget about our YouTube channel. <laughs> Matt really Sign wants up. to get that pony. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine Matt on a pony? I'm sorry. Come on. Wow. Well, <laughs> well here, let me show you the picture. There's a picture right here. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to picture. Because, you know, here, I'm gonna anybody have to who comes in here knows it, Matt yeah. is not so. a short guy. So, Matt on a pony. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wait, were you like. Matt's nickname. wearing a sombrero. Pony boy. <laughs> Pony boy. That was his nickname uh, in high school. Yeah. <laughs> Pony boy? Yeah. Did he die in the Outsiders? Yes. Uh, yes, yeah. yes, he did. So, you know, we Ralph still have that, so we're good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Random things. That okay, I this train just completely derailed off to. It normally does. Yeah. You know, you want it so badly. Uh, I wanted to taste it. Margarita. You poured me a lot more than I expected. Well, no, and we have all this other stuff. I, yeah. I, I, right. Okay, so here, hold on. 
So, how was it? Yeah, that's good. Basically. So I never well, really well, don't heard ask any, us I never heard that. a lot of comments about the uh, governor and opening up and what everyone's thoughts are on that. Yeah. You going to come visit us? You going to hang out? What What are you thinking? Should we do it? Should we not open? Like I said, half ass. I'm down. Half ass. Yep. 50%. Patio will be open. We'll 50%. take this place off and like a hopscotch. So. Ooh, hopscotch. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah. Maybe I need to. Yep. Yeah. We're actually, we kind of kicked around the idea over beer styles since we have such a, a large area over there. So if you wanted to bring your family in and you know, just use the the upstairs, the mezzanine, if you want to use part of the reserve right, that room. Yeah, reserve yeah. That, that room. Yeah. Yep. You want to bring people out, you feel you more want to comfortable, get out, you feel just more comfortable. people yep. you know, with you, yep. and we'll make that happen. We want you to be comfortable first yeah. and foremost. Where are you? Where are you going? You're getting a cue. Are we getting a cue? You're oh, getting wait. a cue. I, I, I think there might be a question. Hmm? Yes, yes. yes yep. opens. Um, I'm guessing Tony's one of those. Well, it's universal then. Yep. So, I, Tony, uh, I we miss you. I I agree. We do miss you. I miss it. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, right now, right now they're we're saying the, the 15th. I mean, that may change, and we know that 77 of the counties. Strange. Open today, so and several of the uh, several of the businesses in in Warren County or in other other counties, they're 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 deciding to stay with just takeout. Um, they're they're not willing to bring on full staff. Yeah. Um, just just because of what that means, um, and it's too difficult for them to separate. So I think there's there's a lot of considerations with it, um, but at the same time, uh, I think that's something that. Um, Brian's going to take a look at and figure out uh, strategically if, if it makes sense. Yep. So. Yep. There's got to be a got to be a plan. Yes. And there will be. Oh God, we got all serious. We can't. We can't do Was that. I, nope. We can't let's do that. Let's go back to craziness. Are you yes. Here? Okay. Uh, more wine. Oh, uh, I was here by myself. <laughs> more for you. All right. Don't worry if my college friends are watching. I'm not going to lower my head and run into a wall. <laughs> Again. Tonight. <laughs> Not right now. Yeah. For the moment. Yeah. But I have a question for the group. For the 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 ones of you that are still out there. For next week's virtual pickup party, besides the wine club wines, what would you guys like for us to be trying out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For the open. Extra, I mean, we open. Maybe we'll get the seller that. List. Yeah, yeah, we're not well, showing the seller list. Um, and then maybe something wine. you could take home and has and, anybody and heard of a reach for style? Okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> well, democracy, we okay, both. We, uh, we need to be, be, be very careful in yeah. in, in letting uh, the we're, peanut we're gallery gonna, comment. We're gonna on this one. You know, maybe I shouldn't have. I, maybe you I should just open yourself up for work. some. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I. Maybe I. Maybe I should. Hey, can we delete this part of the video? Can we go back and take that part out? Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Open mouth insert foot. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People. Right. Mm. Your public has spoken. Let me back up. If, Anything if, under seven dollars. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we, we don't have wait, any wine I was going to say, wait. You, you, remember we where we are. Yeah. Yeah. We don't we'll have any of that. I'll sell it for seven dollars. Uh, we'll sell it to you for seven. Yeah. For a taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Depending on what it is, of course, because you know. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I got a I got a request for Camus out there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Buy one yeah. get one. Buy, yeah. Buy one get yeah. one. Yeah. Twice as much. Buy yeah. two for the price of one. Yes. How about we just Wait, open. Buy well, one for oh, the price happened? of two. Was no, that a it's phone? Fine. It's my phone. It's all I, good. It didn't Undoubtedly. sound good. Yeah, it's fine. It sounded like it shattered. No, it did not. Okay. What else? I think your phone shattered. No, it did not. I think you're out of a phone. Your bumble account might be compromised. Uh, there is no such thing. That's been 
down for like two years. That explains I've been stood up so many times. <laughs> oh, come on. What kind, of, what kind of question would you like to ask a group? Um, Oop, whoop. Excuse me. <laughs> right no, over, all over my computer. No, 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 We're going to need some tech support. <laughs> So, you know, this is the first time I've been Brian, Brian I don't understand why there's oil in my keyboard. Balsamic caramelized onion. <laughs> Brian, can you fix this? Yeah, yeah we need to. Uh, he's, I mean, he's software, not hardware. I right? forgot where my mouth was. If I, I knew the general yeah, vicinity of the mouth. <laughs> if I defrag my I hard drive, would that be enough? Yeah. Yeah, that's usually when, you know, when I call in and someone says, I'm going to need you to defrag your hard drive, I usually know that they don't know. That was super yeah. cool. Oh, you have a drinking problem. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. You got good. it. Yep. We're good. We're good. Yep. Crisis averted. Oh, uh, well, kind of. For the moment. Yeah. We'll find out later. All right. Live chat. All right. Critical Ooh, alert. Wait. That's not good. No. So, yeah, it's, that's pretty funny. Yeah, actually. especially on a uh, Mac. We're good. Okay. We're good. All right. All is good. Got the oil out of the computer. And, For yeah, the moment. We did. For now. Until, until, until it sinks in. I don't eat well on camera, evidently. <laughs> so. Let's see. So, uh, uh, do I have a Sarah, question? you have a question. What do, do you got? Do I? Do I? I don't know. Um. <laughs> what are you doing New Year's Eve? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, that could be fun. Like, we could just have this as a, like, some sort of dating screening for Yeah, so I don't know about that. If Brian and I can screen them, we'd be so good. Like Actually, you know what? Yeah. That would be kind of funny. Yeah. I, you know, I would like to see what you guys yeah. would come up yeah. with, because you know. Do you live with your parents? Okay, no. No, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yes, agreed. Yeah. Um, no, but. Ooh. You know what? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I. But do you still I, I, spend the night at your parents' house every day? <laughs> Definitely, Definitely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> agreed. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, I kind of like yeah. this idea, actually. Okay. This All could right. be in- this could be interesting. Just play this out. Yes. Wow. Hold on. No one's ever said that to me before, Matt. I kind of like your idea. No, no, no. Like, Seriously, <laughs> this this could get interesting. Usually, there are people um, much the, more At the very least, there me. could be some serious entertainment involved. Yeah. Or does that does that make me sound desperate? Hold on. Wait a minute. Or adventurous. Well, a little bit. Adventurous or desperate. Uh, Which it, adventure, it, 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 well, it those are both valid. It profiles. could go either way. It could right. go either way. I'm going to go with adventurous. And food. Because I'm definitely not, I'm definitely not, I'm definitely not desperate now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Your potentially clouded judgment right now is very attractive. <laughs> 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 to how many? Yeah, exactly. I'm not that good. So, uh, yet. So uh, a question was asked by the boss lady, a.k.a. my wife. Oh. How about a cheese board for Mother's Day and a bottle of wine? Ooh, yeah, baby. What's everyone think about that? Anyone interested in a cheese board? And a fantastic rosé. And a fantastic rosé. Go yeah. home with some yep. so, a Sit out on the patio. Some... That's a great idea, boss. You like that idea? Oh, sorry. It wasn't boss. Nice. Yes, boss. Andrew. But I... Yeah. I gotta tell you, it wasn't my idea, it was Andrea's. No. We, were, we were thinking about Andrea that rocks. this morning. So, what do you think? You like the idea? I think that's a great idea. Yeah. I think a Put beautiful bottle a... of rosé, or if, if you're not into rosé, we could find a, a white or a red. Yeah. yeah. Um, think, just think patio and relaxing outside she does with barf. your mom. She does. Huh? Yeah. Well, Barb said that your wife has wonderful ideas. Yes, she does. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I've always said so. Kyle, what are you going to tell me, buddy? You said you're going to tell me one thing. Tell me one thing, man. But tell me two things, man. It's 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 Friday. Let's let's get a couple. Let's get some information. Let's get a couple things out. Yeah, let's let's do this. Because I'm kind of past the point of no return of of telling anybody (laughs) anything interesting. I'm just here for (laughs) the booze now. I'm just here for the booze. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. as we're talking about rosé. Where'd that Chardonnay go? What's that? It's gone. It's gone. Oh, that's right. We do need to save a little bit for Carrie. Yeah. How much is that's that? That's okay. I'll, I'll buy another bottle. Because, um, yeah, that one is beautiful. I'll drink on it. I'll buy another bottle. Honestly? So, I, I, I might have to. You're worth a whole bottle, my... Carrie. I will buy a whole new bottle. You're worth a Come hell of a lot more than that, Carrie, because, you know what, I adore you, and well, I know Matt does, too. Well, you got to do that. Hey. I, was, hey. I was being nice. No, 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 And then you no. made me look stingy. No, 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 no. Hey, I brought you into that into that equation. I said, I adore you, and Matt does, too. So, 
Then a five or a five or a five, and you tell me two <laughs> bottle, two bottle, two bottle on the left. All right, nobody's gonna take this. I'm gonna keep hold of it then. That's mine. That's mine. <laughs> I'll set that up there so people can see it. You're, you're right, Barb. I am totally here for eye candy. Oh, so. He didn't take it. Get it. There's another one. That's right, it, Kyle Warden. I am still here for eye candy. You're always here for the eye You're candy. always the eye candy yeah. man. I appreciate You're that. so tempted. Get it. I feel like you're a man with good taste. Wait, wait. you know what? So. Uh, yesterday when we did our, our company um, my drink uh, virtual happy hour, drink. I had a silly straw in my... Uh, in my this is not a uh, virtual happy mule. hour. It's an actual happy well, hour. Well, no, but oh. so when we... For the company one, I had the a silly shot. straw in, yeah. my, in my mule. That... That, how much to down this whole thing? Are we just going to walk past that statement? What? What? Never mind. The silly straw? The, the silly straw or the, the shot? No, yeah. just, I'll tell you later because okay. I'll <laughs> be right. like, Facebook will cancel us. Yeah. All right. Um, so, oh, yeah. Jesus. That's the biggest shot Do ever. It. Yeah. That's, okay, so that's. Did you say money shot? I, I, <laughs> I did not. Now we're canceled. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> I double dog dare you. Wait, no, you're you're a guy, so you can't gonna, handle I'm the double dog dare. I'm not. It, this would be so much brain freeze. <laughs> yeah. It's like cold. Yeah, with is. all that ice in there. And yes. Plus, once I start, no one else can have any of it. You know what I mean? Matt. Matt, would you like some? Anybody yeah, else want some Mark? We probably need a glass. I'll, 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 get some, I'll get some glasses. Oh, no, I can get some glasses. glasses. Right on. I don't know why Jake left. So was that was the yeah, dumbest thing Jake's well, ever done. It, it was more of a. Leave it I in just, front of a bunch yeah. of yep. crazy yeah, it's craziness. mofos. So I'm going to. All I, want I will tell a spring break story if any of my college oh, friends are watching oh, right Oh, here now. we go. If any of you can write, I will tell a story that makes us look good. Not that it's actionable in a little way. So, Maybe. Come on. Keep Get some the of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, tell the story. I want to hear the story. Let's, I love it when you tell stories. It puts me to sleep. Wait, where's, where's the well, lid so you don't get so much ice in That's why I do it. Do you want so. ice in it? No. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Wow, that I ice. thought was going to go so much worse. <laughs> well, well, that I have bad skills. That container allows you to. Uh, right. Oh, so, like, Matt, yeah. do you want some of that? No. Okay. Story. Matt, were well, you going to tell a story? Well, yeah, but nobody seems to. I'm listening. Yeah, but my I'm not listening very right. well. I want to hear your story. Right. So, what? so we went Matt, to Panama can you tell City me a Beach. Story? So. Actually, Panama City Beach, we'll, we'll start off with the fun one where we Oh, we I think drove. I just pulled a muscle. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. How'd you know the punchline? I haven't even told the story yet. Wow. Oh, oh you're my like, lord. Yeah. That's hilarious. I don't care who you are. Oh. <laughs> give us a minute. Yeah. Talk All amongst right. yourselves. Yes, I'll give you a topic. We're a, topic. Little, we're a, a little peanut is neither a pea nor a nut. And discuss. Uh. Woo! Hello. <laughs> Well, right I'm then. surprised so, that we, um, we weren't closed we, down a long time ago. <laughs> anyway, Daytona Beach, 1972. Uh, Panama City Beach. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Pam, 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 Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. Maybe you shouldn't have that. You are not the boss of me. <laughs> not today, I'm not. Yeah. For a change. Apparently, we have a question. Okay, go. Oh, so, oh we have a question. We have a question. What's the question? What's the question? Oh, comment. No, your wife just said that, so you should call me. <laughs> All right. Anyway. So do I need to be the I feel like our Andrea? 10 of viewers out there want to hear from us. So. I have one. You have another 15? Oh, yeah. 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 You don't have to drink it. No. Yeah, you do. Okay, go. Me. I'm listening. Uh, so there are very few times in life where the story starts off with, so we were sleeping in a car in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> oh, it, I, I, you might find that that's my, more frequent than work? you think. And out of four people... Three of us in the car were the least objectionable of the bunch. So we drove all night, got down there before we could get into the. I'll just start off with this. And woke up and someone was knocking on the window. And it was about 6 a.m. or so. Went out the window. A crack, because this guy may have been the one crack. And we know, he's like, dude, make sure your key's not in the ignition or he'll get you. And then he just took off running. Like, like you would have. You would have thought that like cops were rolling right behind us. You know that there was like maybe, an episode of Ozark. Like like the front driver's side tire of my car was an undercover officer because that guy just like took off running. So anyway, that's how the week started. 
Where's that going with this? <laughs> <laughs> I lost track of time. Wait, hold on. Where was I? No, we were at a, a club. Where was uh, I going? We were at a club <laughs> called, uh, I think, Spinnaker. That might have been it. Uh, we were down there, and there was a bunch of... Uh, uh, when you go on spring break, you end up in certain areas, and there are always like, groups from certain universities and certain colleges. And there was, I think it was like Ohio State and uh, Central Michigan and you know, several others that just happened to be at Panama City Beach that year. So we're at this club and you know, about 16, 17 of us that, uh, that were down there. And we're like, let's do a chugging contest. Mm. And I love those games. We had buckets that were probably about, again, probably another almost twice the size, maybe half again as much. And they were halfway filled with beer. We had six guys up there, and it wasn't necessarily our six best guys, as far as drinking goes. But then again, our six best, our six worst, were at least as good as anybody else. So six guys were up there. You had to drink through two of them. You drank until you could couldn't drink anymore, and then you passed it. Oh my lord! Our first guy finished a whole one, Ooh. and then the second one came, and he just handed it. We had six guys, and it only got to four of them. So the two guys at the end didn't actually get to drink anything. And that Central Michigan group of guys looked really, really stupid. Did like, you win? Oh, you had to have won. Oh, yeah. They, they had barely <laughs> finished the first one. And we're just all standing around. Where's more of the free beer? Maybe we and should do beer? a game like that yeah. here. Oh, never mind. We're, no, you don't no, we're not, no. We're not, we're not, so. that, we're not that kind of place. I was going to name, gonna, name, gonna, gonna, gonna name have, a name of a place, no. but I'm not going to. Nope. Those of you that know me know the name of the places. Yes, we do. My favorite places. But we're not going to do that. So anyway, that was the... Favorite uh, in the negative way, right? That wasn't yes. even... That was the probably the most normal thing we did that week. Was that, the that contest? Was, yeah, that was more of a, a weekend thing normally. Ah, uh, Brian's, Brian's dipping into the pizza. Brian's going to even watch this. <laughs> Someone said yes. Ah. Pizza. Pizza. Awesome. Pizza. See, look, you're gone. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I got. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, I have a question. Can you twist my arm? I have a question for the group. I just finished watching Ozark. What should I watch now? That show is friggin' awesome. I can't do it. Why? I just too dark? can't. Uh, it's it's too real. <laughs> I have a hard time with true reality. Wow. <laughs> the idea that, you know what, that truly could happen. Um, because it really no, no could it's, and it's probably a thing. has nope. and all of that. I, I don't know. I, I that kind of stuff stresses Anybody me. Anybody watch out. Ozark? You guys you gotta watch. You have to watch. It's a mandate. It's 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 like that train wreck where you're like, oh my god, I just I it's, it's worse than the Bridget Jones kind of, you know, comedy where you're like, no, she did not just do that. You're like, yes, she did. And you're like, you're coming right. I, it's, 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 it's darker Ozark than that. Jones. A what? <laughs> that's a, a strange analogy. And oh, so you, have, you, have you not watched the Bridget Jones Diary movies? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. So there's, there's so much comedy with it, but at the same time, it's one of those where you're like, oh, she didn't. She just, oh God, she just did that. Yeah. And you're covering your That's eyes. That's what going, Ozark is. Well, there's that, but it's 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 like, it's it's more serious. It's not just stupid. And I think that's the part for me that I have a hard time with because I'm like, man, okay, that's so. That's how many serious. how many shows have you watched? Um, what do you mean? Ozark. Uh, probably three or four. Okay, it gets better. It it's, doesn't get any. Well, let me it's, back up. It's it doesn't stressful get any for better. me. As far as the stressful side, yeah, it's stressful for me. I, I, and I, and I think it's because I can, I can see how it's that part can of happen. Your day job. Well, yeah, <laughs> true that. You know, the whole money laundering thing. Yes, it's that is part of, of my day job. It's part of your day job, and when you come here, it's part of your day job. No, it's not. Okay. It better not be. Okay, never mind. Ryan, we do we need to have a talk? <laughs> no, it's it, seriously the whole money laundering Ooh. thing gives me gives me hives. You went after the taco. Oh man, I'm jealous. I would have gone after the taco. There's still more. All right. So I think we've been on for about an hour. 
Not that. Are you tired of us yet? No, I'm never tired of you. No, I didn't mean you. I meant because them. <laughs> yes. So I think maybe we we start to wrap up a little bit, have a little discussion about what we discussed. I don't know if that. When did we sense. discuss? Wait, oh, hold on. Shit, a lot of stuff. A little summary. A little summary of what we discussed. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so fantastic rosé. Yep. Yeah. Um, the uh, Chardonnay's over there, and that is the good sport. Like, it's gone. Kick ass. What? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's gone. It's gone. Yes. It's so, gone. According to Matt, <laughs> it's gone. No, that Chardonnay is kick ass. <laughs> Which is a lot coming from me because I'm not a big Chardonnay fan. So, fantastic Chardonnay. Um, Pinot. Pinot is not my favorite either. Semper? Um, Semper Fi. That Semper Pinot Noir is fantastic. It has a good little bit of smokiness to it. Something a little more fun. Um, More interesting, more complex. So, I think we had some, we had some damn yummy wines today. Yeah, we did. We certainly did. I yes, hope you guys did. are drinking some good wines tonight, too. Get it. Um, let's not forget about the beer style stuff. That pizza I just had, even though it's cold. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. I almost said balls again. Buckets. But, holy buckets, that's good. And then the taco. How's it's the taco? The 90s. How's the taco? Balls. How's the street taco? Oh, it's good. So those street tacos and the Cinco de Mayo thing going on uh, for $9.99. Share that with your buddies, and we'll, well. That's that's not a pre-sale thing. That's a come on in, and order it. it. It'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be ready to go for for uh, May fifth. Maybe we'll get some. Maybe we should get some Coronas going in there too. A little Corona, little Corona deal with some wine. I see no why reason not? why not. Why not? And your sixteen dollar thirty two ounce margarita. Screw, screw Corona. Uh, yeah. And then these guys here for sixteen bucks. I want to tell you, Barb. I think that's a good call. Supper for your uh, Memorial yep. Day. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a solid idea. Get the virtual pickup party next Friday. Where, Come have where fun we're with us. We'll taste through the wines. Uh, we'll taste through and we'll have some fun stuff as well. Always got the snacks going, right? Got to have snacks. We just have to have snacks. We might snacks have. Snacks are our favorite we might, things. We might need to be a little more refined on a pickup night. What do you mean? No. Screw that. Nah. We're not being, we're not being No. Refined. We drink. So we got Enjoy. the blind. We got the blind tasting. Don't forget about the blind tasting on uh, May thirteenth. Yep. Um, Fun stuff. Yep. You go home. You go home with six of these little guys. You won't know what they are, but you go home with six of those. They look and, like old style medicine bottles too, just for fun. And then, regardless of when we do or do not open, I think I'm still going to move forward with a virtual, you know, or maybe in the shop if uh, we're open by then. I feel like this isn't going to go away. I think. Well, no, we're, we we're not. Yeah, like we're like going to keep doing stuff like, like this moving for sure. The summer. You know, Need to, like I said on my page, you know, virtual, you know, happy hour. It's like drinking, you know, alone, but with a validation and a that reason for having voices around. in your head. Yes. Yeah, I like that because yeah. I have a yeah. lot of voices in my head, yeah. and normally they're yours. But I don't know what that's like. <laughs> well, yeah, I have but, a tape uh, recorder in your. Don't room. forget about the chocolate bonbon deal. That we're looks gonna, like so gonna, much fun. I'm so all, all about that. Go home that. with all the goodies. Yes. Uh, all the chocolate, the little kit you get to keep. Ooh. Yeah. So. More on that, more to follow on that. This is something we're playing around in our head. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah. I think, uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for Friday. Thanks for yes. May 1st. Thanks for enduring this shit we're going through. Cheers Sorry, to all of you. So, Happy Friday. Cheers to everybody. Good. And <laughs> cheers to you, Matt. And uh, we'll see you. Be safe. Here, here. And we'll see you at the shop. How, how did I end up being the only one with the Marg? Well, you've had two of them now, so I don't. Yeah, know. Uh, like, okay. Shit, two. Man, you've had, wait, you've wait, had wait, more wait. than anybody. Uh, a taste. No, no, it's not no. a taste. You, you, let's let's hey. be clear. It's not a taste when you've had two of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and, this is, know, that's so, a yeah. valid point to many of our regulars that come in for Thursday taste. <laughs> yeah, it's not a taste no, when you there have is, a glass. There is, yes, there is no okay. um, um, retasting. I'm shut my computer. Happy Friday, everyone. We well, love you all. It's Friday. Yes. I thought it was today. Tuesday. Nope, was, today is Friday. I thought it was Tuesday. Friday. 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 May 1st, 1999. Uh, it feels like a little 1999. Party like Whoa. it's 1999? I'm going to sleep like some bitch tonight. I'm going to tell you that right oh. now. I don't know what that means, but yeah. I believe you. It, all means, right. it means I'm going to sleep really well. <laughs> Crazy train. Sign off. <laughs> we good.